Listen, I got to be honest with you. I made a video a couple weeks ago for Sports Not or a week ago for Sports Not, uh, being highly critical of the Jets organization with the Hassan Reddick situation. Here's a guy that when they traded for him, they knew he wanted a new deal, but yet the whole offseason they were unable to do it. So now uh, we had the drama to start off training camp or right before training camp. Where does that sit today? And um, fill me in on if I was right, wrong, or pretty close. I mean, I'll answer the second question first. I mean, <laughs> when they traded for him, it was basically, I mean, they, they tried to negotiate a new deal with him, like a, give him some extra money, like which would be a raise for from the 2024 season. He declined that, and then the Jets still traded for him anyway, knowing that it was a chance that, you know, this could potentially happen. And then here we are uh, now in August, and he still has not reported in his miss like he's getting fined fifty thousand dollars each day that he doesn't report. So I mean, it's starting to add up there. I, they don't know when he's going to report there. Um, it could, it, you know, it could be tomorrow. It could be, you know, three, four weeks from now. It may not happen at all. But he's actually obviously dug in to not reporting and wants the new deal because he's already missed out on a two hundred fifty thousand dollar workout bonus. Mm. He got fined for OT uh, missing uh, mandatory minicamp. And then now he's getting fined each fifty thousand dollars each day. So uh, I think he's dug in, and you know, it just no end in sight, at least at the moment. Yeah, and it seems to me too with with that with that Jets defense and some of the departures they had there, they really need him in there in camp. Um, have have you? He's obviously holding out, but what what are you hearing from the organization? Are you hearing that they're talking at all, or is this just kind of a stalemate right now? Uh, I mean, it's been some talks, but nothing mm. is like imminent as of right now. So it's yeah. kind of this it's in flux. And uh, until he gets there, then nobody knows when he's going to show up there. <laughs> and I think, you know, I think he's fine. I mean, to a extent, like he's a veteran, but if it goes up past a certain point, then even for him, because he this is a new team for him. It's not like it's, you know, a former, like it's, he's on the same team that he's been on with the Eagles. This is a brand new team. He hasn't been in the locker room at all, gotten to know any of his teammates. And I think that's big to kind of just, you know, get, you get that rapport and everything down. And also, you know, learning the new defense there, although, you know, people will say, you know, he's an edge rusher and, you know, things should come natural and it might, but it's still a whole new, you know, beginning for him. So he definitely needs to get in there sooner rather than later.